Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm really proud to make this video for you because it's all about embracing zero waste and saving money on fashion. We are actually at the Salvation Army Tempe store and I am here with the delightful and extremely chic and fashionable oh. Faye Delante, <laughs> who is explaining to me and showing me how to shop secondhand and how to save a huge amount of money. Now, I personally love to buy things secondhand. A lot of my handbags are secondhand, a lot of my dresses, even this shirt is actually secondhand. So good. But I buy a lot of my secondhand stuff online. I'm a little bit overwhelmed or nervous about shopping in a store like this. First of all, I'd love you to explain to everyone what you do, sure. and I will link, obviously, all your social media handles um, in the video description box below. Can you explain to me what you do and why you're so passionate about this. I literally have the best job, and if you'd said to me 10 years ago that I would be doing this, I would have actually said to you, what is an eco-stylist? I definitely, in my 20s, I was a product of maximalism. I had lots of clothes, and I think I kind of partly funded brands like Sass and Bide because I was always <laughs> buying things. Yeah. And then I kind of had this, as Oprah says, a bit of an aha moment. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of questioning, why am I buying all this stuff? It's not making me feel better. It's not helping me progress or evolve. So I just really kind of looked at what I was doing. And then I was traveling a lot. So I was forced in a way to really reduce. So it just started to unfold. And I grew up with a mom who was very crafty. And she came from quite a poor upbringing. So she didn't have a lot. She had this incredible knack to make everything fabulous. Very resourceful. Very resourceful. So that get, got in by osmosis. And then when I was living overseas, it came into play for me. I, you know, I grew up op shopping and that kind of thing. But when I was overseas, it, we went from pastime to practicality. Yeah. I really had to be smart about things and I was on a tight budget. You're moving around with stuff. So the more totally. stuff you've got, the harder it's going to be and the more draining on your resources. Totally. Vogue for me is like my fashion bible. So <laughs> I, would, I would read that all the time and I would take photos in and I would say, right, I've got 10 quid when I was living in London. How can I recreate this yep. Gucci look? I kept challenging myself. And then I could see, wow, okay. People kept asking me about my outfits and then I could see this was going somewhere. So mm -hmm. when I came back to Australia, I started talking to the Salvation Army and it all kind of grew from there. My job is to really show everybody the incredible stock that we have here. I have just gone through the store with yeah. Faye and I actually feel nauseous yeah. by the amount of stuff that's here, the amount of stuff that's brand new, tags still on, so much great stuff. This has been a big aha moment for me seeing wow. the amount of wastage here and, and it's obviously you're doing your best to make sure it goes to new homes and yes. you raise money. Can you talk about why it's so important that we all are open-minded about shopping here and supporting the Salvation Army? I think as you say the first thing is just the enormity at which we're consuming. We really need to take stock of that and be more mindful about how much we're using, you know, why do we really need this, do we need to buy that, can we use it, can we find it second hand. Yeah. So when you shop at a store like Salvo stores, you're empowering local community because all of the profits that are made in our retail stores okay. go straight into the mission. And we help over a million people every year. So that's people who are going through homelessness, drug addiction, alcoholism, domestic violence. Uh, so this fashion, they're little change makers. Yeah. This is a powerful flow on effect. How much money do you really raise? Like what are we talking about here? Millions and millions of dollars. And you know, and it's and it's fantastic because each store is, is profiting and we're getting donations all the time. Yeah. Like this store alone, I, I believe, makes over $3 million a year. And that's all going back into the mission. Okay, so when you donate to the Salvation Army and when you come in here and shop here you are supporting millions of other people you're helping people get back up on their feet again yeah. and it's really important and I have to say coming here even for a spiritual experience <laughs> is I, I feel ill at the thought yeah. of going to my local shopping center and buying something buying you, you just don't need to yeah. you know there is just so much good stuff here and I think that's what I'm really passionate about too is just changing perception it's not old it's not mothbally we're really quite picky with what we put on the floor so there are some beautiful capsule ca classic pieces here yeah on that note this is actually gonna be this is part of a series so make sure you're subscribed and you've switched on the notification system because Faye has actually put together a fantastic new wardrobe for me uh -huh. which comes to less than $250 for the whole entire wardrobe mm -hmm. I'm also going to be sharing with you the top seven things um, that are absolutely amazing that I have literally discovered within 20 minutes of walking into this store so you have yeah. to come and see for yourself what I'm talking about you will be blown away can we just quickly touch on the 
environmental impact of, sure. of shopping like this, especially from our mutual friend Anita Van Dyke, who yeah. wrote Zero Waste, yeah. being incredibly mindful of reducing our consumption, yeah. um, the wastage, the environmental impact, mm. um, not just you know our wallets, and also being a bit of a minimalist that I am. Yeah. Can we talk about like what how this works? This is a scary fact, but every ten minutes in Australia, we throw out. 6,000 kilos of clothes. That's every 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. So that's textile waste. Doesn't bring into consideration furniture or homewares or anything like that. The textile industry has a huge impact on damaging yeah. the environment. It the colours running through the waters, yeah. the factories making items, labour conditions and so forth. When we stop supporting that, mm. we stop encouraging this destructive action towards our society. And I like what you say about when you stop supporting that because once you wake up and you have that moment of holy dooly, like like one pair of jeans uses something like over 8,000 litres of water because as you say, you know, there's the energy, there's the water, there's the dye, there's just so much that goes into making one pair of jeans and a quick look around this store, we have a whole rack of incredible denim and brands as well and they've never been worn or they've been worn once, you know, I mean half the time when you go into a new store, those things have been tried on anyway. As I explained, like I buy a lot of my secondhand stuff online, in my mind, before I even think about going to a store like this, I would assume that it's disorganized, mm -hmm. it smells, it's um, a mishmash of like stuff and yeah. just completely overwhelming. Obviously I've come here and I can see that that is not the case no. whatsoever. But what are your top tips for, for, for the moment you walk in? so that you don't get overwhelmed, you don't go nuts and buy everything, but yeah. you buy mindfully, as you say, mm -hmm. um, and you get great value for money. Definitely having that awareness, because you don't want to buy a bunch of stuff, because that just becomes eco-hoarding if you're buying too much because it's inexpensive. So start simply, buy really what you love, what you need, mm -hmm. be discerning, look at the fabric, hold it up, touch it, yep. yeah. think outside the box. So I always look in the men's section, I love men's clothing, I quite often steal my hobbies, collared shirts, t-shirts, I roll up the sleeves or I wear them off the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Getting to know fashion, yep. so I'm always looking at websites like Vogue Runway, um, I'm reading Vogue, um, I'm just taking an interest. Yep. Get to know your brands. Take this bag for example, it's such a Gucci vibe. It cost me $10. It's Italian leather. Those little accents, that hardware that kind of is quite traditional to the Gucci brand, mm -hmm. that yeah. bamboo feel. Yeah. I knew that because I'd been sort of looking at those ads and, and getting to know the yeah. DNA of the you brand. Knew, you knew your stuff. Last question before we show you the designer boutique, which I am so excited about showing everyone. <laughs> yeah, it's gorgeous. actually unbelievable. Who shops here? Everyone and anyone, which is so fantastic. I see such diversity every time I'm, up, I'm at one of our stores. And I think it's all budgets as well. Mm -hmm. It's not just people who are on low budget, it's people who are discerning, they're looking for brands, collectors, uh, stylists come through here, vintage dealers. I love that because shopping at the flea markets is so incredibly chic and fashionable. Yeah. And this is um, a flea market that's open <laughs> seven days a week and incredible value for money. And yeah. It is so organised and everyone here is so helpful and friendly. Yeah. The yeah. staff are amazing. We just could not do it without them. And so many of our staff are volunteers as well. And I have to say, if for anyone who's looking to hustle up some extra cash, maybe you're doing the thousand dollar project, I am fairly confident you could come here and find some incredible buys mm. that you could then go and on sell on either eBay, high end, yeah. or even lo your local Facebook groups. And I have to say, I've actually seen people on Instagram do this and make quite a lot of cash for the thousand dollar project. And the beauty of that side hustle is that you're keeping it in the loop. You're reusing, you're reducing, you're recycling. It's an yeah. eco hustle. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. We're going to now show you the designer boutique section, which yeah, is where all the beautiful bags yeah. and dresses and you know, more high end pieces that you can find here in the store. So watch this.